welcome back to another week. This week we are starting on Sunday and we have headed to Stodham Barns in Suffolk and we just had a little wander around all the little shops and yeah we just had a lazy Sunday really. You can actually stay here, it has got a campsite and they also have like some park home type things. There's lots of different shops with some wacky creations in. Um, Callum actually treated himself to a nice candle for his desk in the spare room. We then actually decided that we were going to spend the rest of the afternoon giving the house a good tidy. So we went home, got the bin bags out and we literally just blitzed the whole house and it looks so much better. On Tuesday evening we all headed to my nan's, it's her 80th birthday so we went round for some celebrations, she cooked us a gorgeous roast, it was so so nice. We spent some time in the garden and then headed home as we both had work early in the morning. And this is where my week went from a lovely week to a rubbish week. So as you can see, that is poor old Dobby on the back of an AA truck. Um, he's actually unwell, his starter motor has gone. Yes, not the end of the world, but as anyone with a van would know, as soon as something goes wrong, I think your heart just sinks. So we managed to get him going and I drove him to Bury St Edmunds and he's currently still there at the garage being fixed. I did actually have a brunch booked with my mum and sister on the Wednesday as it was my day off, so I managed to get there with help from Callum. Thank you so much to get me there. Um, it was lovely, it's a place in East Burgal called Fields and it was just really nice. It was so miserable that day, the weather was awful, but it was so nice to have a lovely brunch with my mum and sister. They have a little gift shop there and of course I headed over to the animals. There was ducks, chickens, a cute piggy, alpacas, donkeys, horses and some goats. But yeah, it was lovely, as you can see it is raining. But we had a wonderful time. This little piggy was digging with his nose. We then wandered off to see the donkeys and came back and he was asleep in his hole that he'd just dug and was snoring. He was so cute, his little belly was hanging on the floor. Um, but yeah, what a character he was. This place was really reasonable price wise. The animal part is free. You could probably just go there to see them. But definitely check it out. It is literally, I'd say, um, between Ipswich and Manning Tree. As I say, East Burgol Fields, it's called. But yeah, so check it's it out. Friday now, still no Dobby, bless his little heart. They ordered a part for him. Um, however, they seem to be out of stock at the moment. So we don't have him home just yet. I am hoping to go and pick him up today after work. Unfortunately, I'm on a late. We all know how I feel about lates. But it's got to be done. Gives you time to have a nice shower in the morning and make yourself look a little bit more presentable than my five o'clock starts. So going to go and get work done. Then hopefully I'll have the call to say that Dobby is all ready to pick up. I'm off tomorrow. We've got my nan's 80th birthday party with my uncles and aunties and our cousins. So I'm really looking forward to that. But as I say, just really hope that we get Dobby back. Um, we're off to the Isle of Wight, not next week, but the week after. Um, so fingers crossed that all is good, doesn't cost too much, we all worry about how much it's going to cost, but it is what it is. So really looking forward to getting him back, spend some time this weekend, hopefully chilling in him. Um, but yeah, so thank you for sticking with us again this week, I'm sure there'll be some clips of my nan's party, and hopefully the good old video of getting Dobby back. But yeah, thank you for sticking with us. It's raining, freshly straightened and washed hair on my way to work. It looks sunny, however, as you can see on my coat, it's raining. So I've made a little makeshift hood on my hat. My hat? On my hood. Made a hat from my hood. Anyway, let's walk to work. Hello, just on my break at work. What a shift it has been. Uh, first of all, it actually hammered it down when we're loading up and everything got soaked. Then I stupidly locked myself out of the van. I actually locked the keys in the back part, which was just great fun. In the middle of the town centre at rush hour, so somebody had to come and rescue me, which was just annoying, but thankful that they did. But anyway, then I found an item of someone shopping in the back of the van, so it must have fallen out of one of the crates. So I had to go back to the other end of Ipswich to deliver that 
just done my last one. I'm now just having my break in the gorgeous area that is um, Nacton, the rivers. But yeah, so we're thankful to finish. Gonna go and get Dobby. He's all finished. Um, so thankful and massive shout out to Craig. Thank you at Complete Autos for getting him sorted. But yeah, looking forward to the weekend. Tomorrow we're at Nan's for her birthday. And then Sunday, unfortunately, I'm at work again, but only obviously in the morning. So maybe get out and Dobby in the evening and just chill out. But yeah. Dobby See, is back in action. Picked him up late last night after work in the absolute torrential rain but he's back and he's ready for some adventures we're off to nan's now as it's her birthday bash and then maybe this evening i might go and park up somewhere in him depending on the weather but yeah so pleased to have him back last night i was singing a little song that i made up sad really but he really does make a difference and makes me happy and it was a long four days without him but yeah he's back So I'm sure the UK was the same everywhere, but it absolutely chucked it down all day on Saturday. Dad was outside under the gazebo doing the barbecue at Nan's, but we had a lovely spread. It was lamb and barbecue meats and pasta, things like that. It was so nice to spend time with the family. Me and mum were on cake duty, so we took those out to both my Nan and my uncle. I think my uncle was 60 and my Nan was 80, so big celebrations. And then we took the dogs for a walk to get some fresh air. This is Dudley enjoying the puddles, but it was just swamped everywhere. And then we came home and Duddles had a nice cuddle with his Auntie M. Early start for both me and Callum on Sunday. Both got work. It was absolutely flooded everywhere I went. And yeah, it was just great fun trying to navigate all the little roads. But I did see these guys, some wild horses on my journey. They were super, super cute. I then actually delivered near Sibden Park Estate, the Wildness Reserve, which is where Cheryl Cold stayed about three weeks ago. But we deliver here quite a lot. Didn't today, but I couldn't help but stop and have a look at these cows. Look at the little baby one so cute such a nice place they do weddings i believe um but yeah really really nice place and it was lovely to watch the little baby i'm gonna bring this week's video to a close i just spent the afternoon chilling in the back of the van i really have missed this space i love to just get cozy and watch a film you could do it in your house but it's just so different to do it in your van and it's super cozy but yeah next week haven't got much planned yet but We'll see what we get up to. Thanks again for watching.